What's up guys, welcome to A Resource Life. My name is Chris, thank you so much for joining me. In today's episode, we're gonna go over how to list 50 items in three hours. Um, just a few more tips and ideas for you guys. Let me know what you think. This is, it's Sunday night right now, so I actually like to prepare the weekend shipments before the next day so it doesn't get too hectic. But for the most part, I actually do shipping at 4 p.m. every day. Um, it's the last thing I do, I have same day shipping. And the reason I do that is the more important stuff like listing or sourcing items, I always do first. Um, this is cool. I found and sold a ham radio for 200 bucks. I actually got three from that Craigslist posting. So I don't really understand what breaker breaker or what truck drivers actually use these for, but I do find them once in a while and they sell for great money. I'm going to bubble wrap this, double box it, and then ship it in a, a large padded poly mailer. I'll get this out today. It sold last night for 200. Um, I do need some help from you guys though. I would like to name my steamer. Um, right now, the names are either Steve, Stanley, or Steamy. I like to give my, my items names just because it's a little more fun working uh, as a reseller, kind of as a lonely endeavor. So I like to name my items. 50 items every week that are $20 profit or more on average is the goal. So how I'm gonna get these items is thrifting. I also have scouts to go out and hunt for me. Um, I do do some consignments, so I'm reaching out to friends and family. This person um, consigned this pair of Gucci espadrilles and also this Gucci wallet. So it's nice to get higher end goods once in a while. The commission breakdown is 60% of the amount um, minus shipping. So I, I charge the, the buyer shipping and that's not included in the consignment amount. But items like this, the reason why I offer such favorable terms is I want this person to send me all of their items. So it's really important to focus on what kind of clientele you're focusing on when you're doing consignment. You want the highest end person that you can. Even if you have to give them a huge cut, it's worth it because it's a lot better than just selling common items. So shoes for me is my main category, followed by electronics. And then I will sell clothing if it does sell for a lot of money. So here, um, the clothing that I'm going to list today, um, a lot of it is really cool. So as an example, um, I've got some Hickey Freeman suits. And then also um, the things that I'm pretty excited about are I actually have six suits made for Steve Kerr, the basketball coach. So that's pretty exciting. I'll get those listed. Um, I'm going to go over my exact process and how I plan on getting 50 items listed in three hours. But for me, finding 50 $20 profit items takes some time. So I want to limit my production time as short as possible so I can focus on the sourcing part. So for me, I honestly don't like sourcing that much unless the items are really cool. So I like to get all the stuff out of the way. Let me know how you guys plan stuff in the description below and leave me a comment or you guys can always shoot me an email at chrisadailyrefinement.com. Okay, step one is prepping all the items from the day before. With shoes, it's gonna be a little bit easier because there's no measuring. I just take a picture of a measuring tape along this, the, the length of the shoe so that people can get an idea of how long the insole is. Um, some people also take a measurement of the width of the shoe, but I don't do that. I just use simple cardboard cutouts to actually give the shoe shape, and I just reuse those over and over again. I just got these from uh, Amazon.com. So. That makes it easy. Electronics are even easier because there's less photos. With suits, we actually take six measurements, so it takes a little bit more time. So 50 listings in three hours is roughly 17 items per hour. That's all the way through. I'll go over all those steps, but the first part is making sure everything is ready to go at the beginning of the day, so you're not wasting a lot of time staging or prepping or presenting items in a nice manner. I'm going to print the labels for my 50 items. So I'm here on avery.com. You can create a free account and then customize depending on what size your labels are. So here is the print preview. I'm going to select custom pages one through 50 because I'm just printing 50 pages. And then I have it set up on my Dymo. And then we're just gonna make sure that the labels print correctly. I'm going to physically write which bin number it's gonna go into. And so now I'll know exactly where my item is and where it is inside my spreadsheet.
So I actually do all the item specifics and the photography at the same time. Some people do it separately, but for me, while the photos are bright and I'm inside my photo box, I can see the flaws and the product features the best, so I do it at the same time. Items come in, they have the item tag already placed on it, and this tag just has what the SKU is and where it lives in my inventory system. So inside here, this is actually a four and a half foot box by seven feet tall. I had this in my reseller supplies link in the description below if you want to pick this up. Anything that's wider than three feet goes in here. If it's smaller than that, I have a smaller photo box to my right here. At the same time of photographing, I straighten the item and make sure that my presentation is as high as I can make it because that increases the perceived value. To my right here, I have a photo, I'm sorry, a tape measure, and this is where I measure the waist, the inseam. This is where I measure all my items because customers want to know what size items are, and they also ask for measurements. So I have this right here. I edit the, this and the background out of the um, out of the photo using an app called Photo Room. So even though this photo box removes most of the background, I still use professional editing software on every single photo just to make it look a little bit more professional. Every item takes between two and four minutes depending on what type of item it is. So once it's done with this, I actually pack the item in the plastic right here and put it away. So it's on all one step process and that concludes all the work that I do. Uh once I've taken all the photographs, the way that I actually transfer is using AirDrop. So I select all the items that I've just taken the pictures of. I've already edited the photos using an app called Photo Room. So the photos are ready to go. They are listing ready. Once I AirDrop them to my computer, from the computer, I drag those photos into a Dropbox for my virtual assistant to list. And at that point, I actually delete the photos off of my phone. That way I can keep storage space to a minimum. I also have two extra listing phones just in case other people are helping me. This experiment with the 50 for 50 is just what I'm doing personally to show you guys, but I do have two full-time people who help me list every single day. I have my photos ready and I have my spreadsheet with the important information in it. Now I need to actually build the listings. I use a service called Hammock. It's a virtual assistant company. What they do is they build the listings for me and launch them. So they're going to add the photos, add the item description, add the item specifics, put in my preferred business policies, which are returns, shipping, and payment information, and they're going to launch it for me. After that, they're going to cross post on Poshmark or Mercari. My virtual assistants are already trained, so with electronic Electronics, it'll go on eBay and Mercari, but not Poshmark since Poshmark doesn't allow electronics. It will go depending on what platform it can go on. So that service is pretty straightforward. It's $1.45 to build a listing for you, $0.45 cents per platform, and then $0.10 cents to delist on each platform when an item sells. So that allows me to get the most traffic for my items without doing any additional work. On the back end, they also update the ledger for me so that I don't have to do the bookkeeping and accounting, which is my, less, my least favorite part of reselling. So for me, what I have to do is get the photos into the Dropbox, and the basic information into my spreadsheet. And at that point, my job is done. When the item sells, I have to do shipping. You can have Hammock put the, the, sh the shipping labels together for you, but I don't, I don't do that. I enjoy shipping, but you can have a virtual assistant do all of that for you. They've actually been very generous. They're offering people who watch my channel $50 off. So you just tell them that Daily Refinement sent you. In the link below, I have a free VA demo set up. So in that demo, what I want you guys to do is schedule it with them. It's free. They're going to ask you what you want automated in your business. The only thing they can't really do for you is the photographing part because they are not physically there. Once you have that information and get it to them, they can take it from there and build your listing for you. It's an awesome service. This year in 2020, I've done over 11,000 listings doing virtual assistant services. So obviously I can't do that many listings by myself. And it's much easier to use a virtual assistant in a different country because you're paying a lot less money than somebody locally. I would say it works out to about six or seven bucks an hour for that work versus somebody locally is about $15 an hour or maybe $15 to $20 an hour. And then for you, I consider most entrepreneurs and solopreneurs, your time is worth $50 an hour or more. That's why I want you to condense your 50 for 50 challenge to about 10 hours a week of your work outsource the rest of the time that's, that's sort of the grunt work to a virtual assistant Use the rest of your time, so 10 hours for processing, the rest of the time for the VA, and then finally, what time you have left, go find the 50 awesome items that you're gonna flip. So
This video and this series is actually sponsored by my reseller field guide course. It's a video guide on how I do all eight of these processes and it comes with a physical process guide. So inside this book, you can actually keep track of your progress. Every single day, I recommend you take one of these eight processes and improve it and write down in this book what exactly you improved. So this guide is something I've been working on for three years. I also have an online mastermind group that meets Monday through Friday twice a day if you want live one-on-one -on -one help. That group has been going on since 2017 as well and I've seen hundreds of resellers go from just learning how to do it to earning a full-time income and I'd love to have you in the group. You can get a 50% off code with code YouTube in the description below. It really helps me build my channel. And then finally, I do have one-on-one -on -one consulting if you do want a little bit more help going over your goals or you have a specific question on how to build your business. That link is also in the description below. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Until next time, make progress daily.